The countdown has started for the Powered Arm Prosthesis Race with uh, Moscow on standby, Croatia, the Maker Hand team, and of course in Sweden, E Opera with Magnus Nishka and uh, the University of Pisa with Maria Fossati, that is Soft Hand Pro. We're with Elena Zukova, who goes to the first of the six challenges. There are 100 points to be scored. You have eight minutes of time. Michelle, for me, the toughest of the tough, I believe, is the breakfast and jam jar problems for Zukova right at the start of the challenge. This is a nightmare for the Super Motorica team. Yes, she has problems with the jam jar, actually. It's, it looks like it's stuck in a way, or like the, the wrong grip, maybe. But it, it's it important to like be focused. She's got the right grip on the prosthesis. And uh, she's trying again. All of the equipment is the same for every one of the teams. If you look to the left of your screens, uh, Mihic for Croatia, Nishka and Fossati of Sweden and Italy are already away, working their way through all of the challenge. But for Alina Zukova from uh, Moscow, she has had to skip the first challenge. No points. Early leader on screen, Maria Fossati for Italy and the University of Pisa. She's into the laundry where she will have to zip up her hoodie, hang up her T-shirt, tie the lace and hang up the training shoes. Michelle, the yes. Italian, very confident, quick in the early Very challenge. quick, very quick. And she did a great job with the, the sweatshirt as well. Sometimes it's very sticky with the hand prothesis to get through. And this, some uses a plastic bag, but she did a great job without the plastic bag even. even. Now, working very quickly again. She can use her... Uh, Normal sorry, human hand for if the second. piece of equipment is not blue. But as you can um, see, two pins. blue Reed, pegs. And here, arm, Maria or... has to use the prosthesis arm. And this is good. She's leading, and she's leading. Four seconds clear of Sweden. 22 seconds clear of uh, Croatia with uh, Zukova now way behind the pace after that nightmare yes, at the time. The first stage. So the Italian moves on to clean sweep. We go to Magnus Nischke of E Opera, uh, Sweden, out of the Gottberger University. And again, he's just four seconds off the pace and looking very quick and slick, Michelle. It's very close. Yes, it's a head on head race, actually. And he's quite calm doing those pins, grip by grip, but. Yes, great job. And he has a green line, two green lines for Croatia as well, here, with the third task. Yeah, there are three, three teams out there, Michelle, that have all got green lights. The red tells us that they have made a mistake or picked yes. up a penalty. It is all clean so far, but the leader is Fosati. She's 29 seconds ahead of Mihic of Croatia from the Maker Hand team here, who we're looking at on screen. Look how he balances that ball. And because the, the ball is blue, he can only use his prosthesis arm. Exactly, well done, Old Odo's task. He's so... You know, he's so prepared, actually. And there's a lot of uh, uh, practicing. They worked for it weeks or months, they trained. Now the hammer, the hammer skill. This is the home okay. improvement, 17 points. Still 45 points, maximum points for Maria Fossati and Soft Hand Pro. She is our current leader. She's at the halfway point, three tasks to go. Let's go to Magnus Nischke now, E Opera and Sweden. Look at the clock. Three minutes, 27, but the perfect point score. 29, he's just finishing up clean sweep, and it's another green perfect score, although he's 32 seconds behind this lady, who for the first time, Michelle, makes a few small errors, and he's just finding it a little difficult with the scissors to cut the paper. That's a nerves, actually, Nick, I guess. Um, but she's still leading. She's still leading, and she's doing a great job with the scissors, actually. She has their own tactic to do it. I turn my... <laughs> now the Croatian is picking up. Remember, he was over 20 seconds down, and uh, Kronoslav Mihic has got it down to just 10 seconds. If he can work quickly through the home improvements and be fast and efficient through the next challenge, the haptic box, he could turn the tables on the leader from Italy, that is Maria Fossati. But Mihic here goes into the haptic box. Now, the haptic box is all about feeling. Fossati looks to be losing that advantage here because we can see that Mihic is in the haptic box 
backstage. Fusati just struggling a little bit with that light bulb. There she goes, the Italian going into the fifth or the penultimate test is now behind the Croatian. This is Magna Schniska. He's in third, third position, position exactly. with uh, Russia out of the chase. But this touch, this new task, the haptic box, really is quite... Quite special, Michel. At, yes, exactly. At, it, it's Croatia. He is the leader right now, right? He's leading. Well, and it's this challenge is all about touch. This is all, all about, about touch, touch, not all about visual. Feelings. Uh, that is the new one for 2020. It's the final challenge for Kronoslav Mihic and the Maker Hand team. You've got oh, to build that pyramid. Oh, Here match, comes for Sassi, looking to match. get back into the race, and it's going down to the wire here. It will go down to the last. You have to turn all of the blue cups over with the prosthesis hand and then build a pyramid. And it looks like the Croatian for the maker hand team that has the slight advantage now over Fossati of Italy. And if he can just get these last two cups onto the pyramid, it will be a Croatian gold medal. And as Kronoslav Mihic completes the task, Fossati is having yes. a few problems and Croatia take the goal End of race. in the powered of Prostisi's race. That's been a great performance. Behind the Italian in the first three tasks, oh. <laughs> but he won it on the final three. And that is a great performance. Andrei Dukic there cannot believe it. The head of the <laughs> maker hand team of Croatia, they have taken the gold. And uh, Frosati just to the left is finishing oh. off that final stacking challenge. Italy are looking good for silver. This is the tough story for Russia with Elena Zukova. Yes. Well, off the pace from the very get-go of the race, but finishing it nicely. Magnus Niska, look at that. Perfect score on every one of the challenges. Just does not Jack have the exactly. to match the Croatian winner. Here's Maria Fossati. Italy looking good to take second place. Welcome, Silver medal. Well, actually, Soft gold medal for the best female. That is a great performance, but maybe she'll be a little frustrated to have let the Croatian just steal the gold in those <laughs> last two challenges. But what a great performance from Maria Fossati to take silver for soft hand pro. And it looks like the Swedes with uh, E-Opera and Magnus Nishka still looking for another perfect score, 100 points, and he's keeping it under eight minutes, which is what I like. Very much indeed. Look at Elena Zukova. Good performance for Russia, who go fourth. It is Magnus uh, Nishka who takes the bronze medal for Sweden due to the error from the uh, Russian team at the very first stage. Gold for Croatia, silver for Italy, and there the bronze for Sweden.